everyone, Kirk here, Kirk's Motor Ride Shop. I am currently riding on the Cherahola Skyway, late, late October of 24. And as you can see, I'm following behind an LT. It's my friend Gerald. Um, I thought, you know what, this would be a perfect time, this beautiful morning, to make a comparison video between the LT and the GTL. So, boy, what, what are some of the great things to compare? You know, so many of you guys have asked me to make a video like this, comparing that, the, uh, these two bikes. So I've got, you know, 13 years of experience or, or so on the LT, and I've recently purchased this GTL as a way to help my channel a little bit, help, uh, you know, get some new content on here. I've got so many videos regarding the LT and not enough on these late model bikes. And I'm a K-bike guy. I am a die-hard K-bike guy. I love the, the power, the smoothness, especially the smoothness of the K-bikes. Uh, whether it's that LT or a GTL. Let me get that leaf out of there. There we go. Uh, and so let's, uh, let's just talk about the power. Boy, that is something I am crazy about on this bike. It has got so much more power than the LT. It's just pure addiction to me. It's just like crack. It's, a, it's like crack cocaine for Kirk. Uh, I love, love to twist on that loud grip. And stomp on the loud pedal too when I'm uh, in my truck or heck any other vehicle I usually just ram it to the floor and go uh, anybody that's driven with me knows that I I don't like to go slow and my as my friend my late friend Gerhard used to say Kirk we like to ride spirited and I I do I just learned how to ride spirited and I'm loving it. Uh, even this speed right here is a little bit slow for my liking, but it's okay. You know, it. I'm. I don't want to get too distracted, especially if the turns get tight. And uh, yeah, I, I, anyways, I. This is going to be great. So, the power of the of the GTL, boy, does it ever just wail upon the LT. But the LT has its place. You know, it is a wonderful luxury touring bike. And that being the case, it is, uh, you know, it, it, it's appropriately powered for what it is. And I can uh, certainly appreciate that. And, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's fun to ride a slow bike fast than it is to ride a fast bike slow. And this, uh, this one's a fast bike, and, man, it's, it's kind of fun at all speeds, I'll be honest. But well, more fun as you, uh, as you get up there in the, the higher RPM range and higher uh, number range so weight comparisons uh, this this bike is about a hundred pounds at least a hundred pounds lighter than than the LT and uh, you know with that it, it, you feel it you feel it all the time it's got 160 horsepower and passing things are just no problem you know I used to say when I had the LT I used to but like that truck I just passed I would say can I make it and now I say I can make it no problem yeah yeah it's it's just wonderful so the weight really plays into it the power of course plays into it uh, handling well you could see you could see the handling here it's it's wonderful great handling the weight the power to weight ratio is amazing the balance of this bike is great low speed maneuvers are definitely better than the LT I mean really a lot better the, this one doesn't want to take a nap where the LT just is like oh I'm tired I'll just take a nap right now and just fall over uh, you got it you know the LT really teaches you how to ride it it teaches you your skill level it shows you your skill level and your balance level. Uh, the build quality of these bikes are just truly amazing. I'm, I'm super impressed with the build quality. You know, as a as a guy that works on these, as a mechanic, I 
I'm impressed by these bikes. I I like working on them. Uh, if you've got an LT or an LT, if you've got a GTL or a bagger, or whatever, anything that's pretty much 96 and up on a BMW, I'll I'll be glad to work on it. <clears throat> There's certain things I won't do. Uh, I'm not one. I'm not a a guy that can help you with warranty work because uh, I'm not a an official BMW dealer or shop or anything like that. So just keep that in mind if you want to bring your bike to me. If it is out of warranty, of course, and it's broken, yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. Um, uh, some of the other comparisons we could talk about is uh, wind protection. So wind protection on the LT is superior than uh, to the GTL. These bikes are more narrow. They have a smaller wind pocket, I, I like to say. Uh, the bubble on them is definitely smaller and you know it, it even the hand grips uh, get a little colder than on the LT you know those mirrors that are on the LT really help create a wind bubble around your hands where these yeah, you might want to have some heavier gloves on hand or put wind, wind guards on there or, or something you know if it gets cold out uh, comfort comfort wise well I'm, I'm really uh, very convinced that the Germans, they are not, they're not humans, they're, they're not. They, when it comes to comfort, they're, they're, they're just, they've got rocks and bricks and angle irons in their ass and they, they just, I don't think they feel pain. I really don't. I think that those guys, they honestly don't feel any pain. And the stock seats are a real clear reflection of German engineering. They're not made for comfort. They're made for looks. And they, they comfort-wise, they suck. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's the LT or the GTL or the RT or the GS. I don't care what it is. They, their seats are terrible. You, you literally have to... Have to... Um, I don't know why he puts his uh, his hazard lights on. It's just it's not helpful. Uh, makes me makes me stall out here. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Uh, so the the seats, yeah, they're not they're not the greatest. So I, I put a Russell Day Long on mine, and it really helps dramatically. Uh, guys, if you are uncomfortable on your seat, I would really encourage you to invest in whether it's a Russell Day Long or a Sergeant seat or I don't care. Just do your research, find what works for you, even if it's a gel seat, or maybe you're German, maybe your last name is Pills, and you just, uh, you know, you can handle the, those German seats because your, your ass is made just for those seats. So, that's what I'll say about the seats. The, uh, uh, comf uh, you know, comfort, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, one of the great things about the GTL in regards to comfort are the different ride modes that this thing has. You know, it's got it's got like a sport mode, which is uh, also called dynamic on the on the late model bikes. You've got um, your or you got comfort mode, which is a road mode on this. They kind of just changed the names, but you got comfort mode, and then you've got rain mode, and uh, there's and there's baggage you know you can put add baggage into your modes and you can also um, you know whether it's anyways just getting around this uh, that little turn off maybe that's why he's signaling uh, baggage mode two up mode there, there's all kinds of modes and I like that I really like the being able to change things up uh, your seating position is very, very similar to the LT. It's really just a straight up and down kind of seating mode uh, or position. Uh, the GT has more of a lean forward position and the bagger has more of a laid back position. Uh, but they are just as equally racy, I suppose. Uh, maybe the bagger, you might not be able to carve corners quite to the extent as the GTL or the GT. Just because there's some parts on it that are a little bit lower. So 
sometimes I run into the sunlight here and I gotta just pay attention a little bit deeper. Uh, uh, the, the pillion. Some of you guys like to ride with your wives and uh, boy, I can sure appreciate that. I, I like it when my wife comes with me, but you know, I have to ride different when she's with me, otherwise the, you know, things go wrong. Things, things can get rather negative sometimes. And, but I've asked her how does, you know, how is it compared to the LT? And she said that it's okay. Eh, I like the LT better. Okay, so take that for what it's worth, guys. If you're uh, if you're a frequent flyer with your wife or girlfriend, do take her her into consideration. Uh, but to be honest, we are always riding our motorcycles far more than with our wives. You know, we go to the gas station, whatever. It, it, it we're on the bike all the time versus them being on the bike some of the time or it could be most of the time but still we ride more than they do uh storage wise uh i'm i'm gonna say that the gtl has more storage available than than the lt does and what i've done is put uh some netting inside the side cases to utilize both sides of that clamshell design and I, I, I'll show a picture of it right here. And, you, you know, you can see it, it It really helps just maximize the space that you have. Uh, the top case on this thing is great. You can actually fit two full-face helmets in there, depending on the model and the size of those helmets. Uh, and, and there's also nothing else in there. But you can fit two full-face helmets in there. And you could fit full-face helmets in the side cases. So you, you got a lot of storage options there. Uh, although the one storage option I miss the most is on the LT is the where the radio goes. I'm, I truly miss that part. All right. After uh, uh, so uh, storage-wise, yeah, we got that. Let's see what else. Creature Comforts. So, looking at Creature Comforts on these bikes, uh, the LT, I think it wins out on Creature Comforts. It's got that mirror that's in the back. It's got a little map pocket in the back. It's got, uh, you know, some puddle lights maybe uh, on, on certain models. And there, it just seems like maybe some of the analog features on it are a little bit better, you know. It, it, just, just little things. It's got the map lights and things like that that even if you don't use them, they're there. And you got power takeoffs there where you can, you know, wire things into it. Whereas this bike, being it's more digital and uh, on a CAN bus, it can be more of a challenge for sure when it comes to uh, getting some of your other things set up, your farkles and stuff. But it's just different things to work through. Uh, so, you know, talking just a little bit more about the, the digital aspect of it, you know, you get a lot of features that are on the GTL that are not available on the LT. Of course, you got analog brakes, those are the, about the same, but you got things like um, traction control. Uh, you know, if this road was wet, it would, it would kind of de, I'm not gonna say detune the engine, but it would decrease the torque in the engine so that you don't slide out. It's actually always monitoring the, the speed of the front and the rear, and it, it's doing its best to help you not to get into a wreck. So that, that's a great feature. Uh, I, I have the Pro Shift on here. I can't believe how I love the Pro Shift. Oh my gosh, it is wonderful. It is so addicting and uh, so easy to work. It's just, I, I could never shift as fast as this thing. It's just, it's lightning fast shifting all the time and you're not burning up your clutch ever um, and uh, uh, it's got reverse on it although my reverse is currently now operational for some reason which uh, I'll figure that out uh, but it also has uh, it's got reverse and it has um, oh uh, it's got the, the hill the hill start assist 
and I love that. I, I didn't think I'd ever use it, but I use it all the time. Not, not to start on hills, because I, I know how to use a clutch, but I use it when I pull off to the side and, you know, I'm gonna mess with the GPS or something and I'll just uh, engage the hill start assist and uh, now I'm not moving. Now I don't have to, you know, try to hold my feet. I don't have to shut the bike off or put the kickstand down or anything. You know, just, just for a couple minutes uh, dealing with that. So, yeah, the great, great tech. Um, uh, the radio, I honestly can't tell you guys how good the radio is or bad the radio is. I've never turned it on, and I will not turn it on. I don't care a whit about the radio on the LT. I don't care about it on the GTL. So, I mean, if you want to ask me questions about it, go ahead. But I'm gonna just going to say I have no idea. So... I, I have speakers in my helmet and that's what I really like. I've got a Cena unit and that's exactly what I use and love and uh, and appreciate that. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, it's got other digital features on here like um, you know, oil level monitoring, tire pressure monitors, I, all that stuff comes standard. It's, it's just great. And uh, it's got central locking. That, I love that. That's really fun. And la last few things I'll talk about is uh, maintenance and repair. I haven't. I've done maintenance on this bike. I haven't done any repairs yet. Obviously, the uh, uh, the reverse thing is out, and it, it's going to be going in for a recall uh, on the 2018 model. So I'm hoping that is something that will get fixed with the recall. And if it's not, then I'll be bringing you videos on how to fix your uh, reverse gear. And, uh, uh, and you know, it, it's going to cost money eventually to work on this bike. The more I ride it, the more it's going to cost. And that's just how it is with the LT. You know, you've got, somebody's got to spend money on these things. And it's going to be you if you own the bike. And if you want it to be reliable, you're going to have to put money into it. Um, I think that you know some of the early model LTs had more problems than others in certain areas but these late model LTs like the guy in front of me on his 05 uh, I think I had to remove his ABS unit and you know that, that's that's additional expense because Lord knows those ABS units are not reliable on those LTs and they're becoming less and less reliable as time goes on it's, it's really pretty frustrating uh, tires Tire, tire use, uh, I've already burned through a tire in 3,500 miles because it had like kind of a wrong tire on here. It had a road race tire on it, which was a really soft compound. And I just chewed that thing to bits in 3,500 miles. I currently have a set of Continental Attack 4s on here, uh, the GTs. And so far I'm loving them. They are holding the road beautifully. And I think that they're properly compounded for a bike this heavy and hopefully I'm gonna have some real good report when I finally do a review on this tire. Uh, and they, they ride really well in the rain too, and I've gone, well, far north of the speed limit in the rain, and I probably shouldn't, but that's the way it is for me. You know, when I'm by myself, I, I tend to uh, stretch the boundaries of the law, let's just say. So my overall impression, Boy, guys, if you are considering a GTL or a GT or a bagger, do your research, but do take one out for a ride and experience that incredible, exhilarating power for yourself. Just enjoy the bike for all it's worth. And, and if you guys have questions, by all means, put them in the comments or hit me up on my email at kirk at kirksmotorrod.com or hit me up at my website, kirksmotorrod.com, and I will be glad to uh, share with you guys. I'll be glad to answer your questions. And I just want to say thank you so much for enjoying this little bit of a beautiful day on the Cherahola Skyway. What a pleasure it is to ride. And uh, look for more videos here. I, I've got some more ride videos, and we are going to just enjoy, enjoy the day. So thanks so much. Have a good one, guys.